When somebody loves you, it's no good unless they feed you every day. Happy to be near you when you need someone to pour you a Chardonnay. Warmer than a Greg's cheese pasty, that's how it's got to feel. Deeper than a deep end pizza, that's how deep it goes when it's real. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my blog, thanks for tuning in today. It's a wonderful day here in Harleypool, Thursday morning, bright and gorgeous, and I hope you've had a great week. I've had quite a good week. What have I done this week? I've done loads. Uh, I went to the doctor's this morning. He said, uh, hey, how are you, Jean? I haven't seen you for a while. I said, well, I've been pooling. I said, <laughs> I said, you know, doctor, I said, this is the problem, right? I said, when I touch my cheek, oh, the pain is terrible. And then my shoulder, when I touch my shoulder, oh, the pain, awful. And then when I touch my side, oh, terrible. He said, you broke your finger. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get on with today's um, blog. Um, I'm going to introduce. Uh, I've got a very special guest today. Very I'm special. Going to do a very special can you hear her? Very I've got a card of the week. Brace yourselves, folks. Uh, I've got because you think of that. I'm a I'm a, a gob almighty. Will you see this one? Um, I've got a card of the week. I've got a lovely guest. I've got some more jokes. Some more um, spontaneous outbursts of song. So let's just, I'm going to introduce this girl. She is a lovely friend. She's a beautiful person inside and out. She's one of my, stop being sick. She's <laughs> one of my apprentice witches and she's the most gorgeous person in the world. And Aww. I'd like to you introduce her now. And Yay! it's Emma. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Hello, darling. Hi. Are you alright? I'm great, thank you. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh, I've just moved my chair. Oh, oh. I, I, don't move your no, chair. No. Don't move your chair. Everything's certain. Um, so, are you quite excited about today I'm then? Very excited. Are you excited? Right. I don't know how much I can say though. I don't know whether I need to remain. Mute. Well, don't be swearing. You can't swear because my mum watches it. Oh, no. Yeah, Betty watches it. And, and your mum probably will yeah. watch it as well. So, yeah. we can do swearing. So, I'll just have to sit We can do risky. We can do risky. That's fine. We can do a bit of risky. Yeah. 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 So, um, what would you like to do first? Would you like to ask a question? Question, or would you like to do a card of the week? Or um, is there anything you want to talk about? I think we'll start with the card of the week and just go from there. Yeah. yeah. All right then. So I'll take my little um, stone. Um, you've got one of these on you. Yeah. The, the selenite. selenite. This is a selenite. Right. Go on. I was just going to say, why have you put it on top of there? See, I've got mine on my windowsill. To right. Really like to. Okay. Right. Oh, well, I think I've, I've, I've spoke about selenite before. They're a very powerful crystal. I would say they're one of the highest vibration in crystals, right? So they're really, really good. They get rid of all negative energy. And I always put one on me cards. So if there's been any negative, like, you know... Um, vibrations mm. on there it just gets rid of all negative stuff like recharge yeah absolutely Re recharging yeah. absolutely um, so great give them a good shuffle I darling will. and we'll have a card of the week oh, these ones I can't I can't shuffle them. I know that, unless you're Holes. a croupier oh, unless no. you're a croupier Definitely they're very difficult to uh, to shuffle out there yeah. 42 year old then mama. I know god that's like that's you're men, younger than men. my cards yeah <laughs> bloody hell I'm hard to handle as well let me tell you that and Paul had vouched for that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to him, I'm nervous what I say. I'm nervous if I, I just want to swear or be too rude. Don't be, don't be getting to rest. No. That's the thing. I thought I'd just have to sit here like the mute. I'm taking a risk here, folks. I know. Taking a big risk. I need to be PG. PG, PG for GP today, I think. Oh. Right, so card of the week. Just let's have a card of the week. Oh, please be a good one for let's me. Have a, let's have a good one. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh trust no. you. Well, actually, that is not as bad as what, what everybody else thinks. Right, let me just show you where it is. Right. That is the Nine of Swords. Now, the thing is with the Nine of Swords, right, don't worry, because what it means, it's anxiety. Yeah. Right? So, what it's saying is you're worrying about something. Are you worrying about something at the moment? I am, yes. You are. Yeah. So, what it's saying is stop worrying because the outcome is going to be nowhere near of what you think it is. Right. Do you know what I mean? The card of Nine of Swords, some, sometimes it means mental illness. I don't think it is with you. It's I think just... it could be. 
think it's just I think it could be. No, I think it's just worrying. As you can see, that man is as I'll show you again. He's looking a bit devastated. He's, he's looking a bit yeah, but he's holding his yeah. head. So and all them demons are behind him. So it's all about anxiety. That can be sleepless night. And I, I'm having sleepless nights. I did have a very bad sleepless night last night because something was going on on Satan Railway. About half one, and it went on for a couple of hours. Like Something was going on. Yeah, what was going on. I've um, I've taped it. I'll show you after this. A really, really slow train. They were doing maintenance, but it was half one. Ah, the night. Really noisy, right, banging, right. Ah, loud okay. noises. Oh wow! You know, so you can't be doing with banging in the middle of the night. No, not unless it's me. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. Oh, <laughs> calm down. It's you. I'm honestly fine until so I get I, you. I would say we turn into 14 years old so when we get yeah. together. Um, so it, what it's saying is don't worry because the outcome of whatever you're worrying about it's not going to be anywhere near like you think. They're so the stop sandals, aren't they? <laughs> you have got them sandals. I have them sandals. <laughs> you have got them sandals, yeah. yeah. And yes, yes, you have. And, oh, and it's a blonde girl. girl. Paul calls me Russell Crowe's and he says I've got legs like Russell Crowe's <laughs> as well, he does. So could flattering. be worse. You could have legs like Russell. Or Brand? that fella that... No. no, he's skinny, isn't he? The oh, Russell. The cards. Oh, yeah, Russell. Russell, what they call him? Russell. Russell? Oh, Russell. Go on out the oh, cards. Yeah. Croft, yeah. no. No, Russell no. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll think of it. Anyway, so it's not going to be as bad as what you think. Give me another one. It's not going to be as bad. Oh, Let's have one not. more. Pick a good one, please. I'll get the three on the tennis so No, you won't. Yeah. No, you won't. Pick a good one. Oh, now that is a good one. The Three of Pentacles. Right, okay. Let me just talk about the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork, right? And it's all about, it's usually three people in this equation. Right. When the Three of Pentacles. It's all about teamwork. Like a threesome. I don't want one of them. Sorry about this, folks. Sorry Sorry about this. (laughs) Just sorry. Sorry. (laughs) Carry on. Sorry. This is all about this is all about pulling together, you know, and, and kind of um oh, do you know, I can't be serious today. I, th- I think we anyway, it's a really good card, it's all about pulling together, it, it, it's teamwork and it's a lovely card. Right. So next week there's gonna be you and Paul and there's gonna be somebody else involved mm-hmm. who will help your situation. Right, okay. So should we see who the other person is? It could be the Let me have another one. No. Let me have another one. Let's just have one more. <gasps> lovely oh, card the nine oh, of pentacles nice right the nine of pentacles is one of the best cards the best money cards mm-hmm. in the pack and can you see he stood there with his little arms folded and he's looking quite smug and he's thinking god i've come all this way and i've i've kind of everything around me is wonderful and i've created this myself now that's what you've got at the moment yeah so stop worrying everything's gonna everything's gonna work out fantastic Perfect. everything's gonna work out fantastic so you have to stop worrying right. and having sleepless nights. Oh, right, shall I pull a card of the week? Go on then, yeah. So this is for everybody else. So what shall I sing while I'm doing it? That's what he said. Um, <laughs> fly me to the moon and let me I don't play among the stars. I do you know, you'll sound bad if I start. <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> e, right, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Now this is a character. Actually, you are the Queen of Pentacles, am, aren't yeah. you? Because you were Paul a Taurus. Is the king, yeah. Yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles would be, if it's, we're talking about star signs, we were talking about like Taurus, which would be you, Capricorn or Virgo. That's if astrology is involved with this lady. She's a lady who likes to feel very safe in her environment. So she's, she's quite materialistic, but not in an awful way. She just likes to feel yeah, safe and true. secure. She's very, very loyal. She's yes. fiercely loyal, this lady. So she would absolutely, she's like a lioness yeah. in some ways. She would defend, it, yeah, it, it is absolutely you, isn't it? Absolutely you. She would defend anybody, you know. She would, she's very protective with her friends and her family. Um, she would make a very good mother, uh, which that, yeah. which I'm sure that 100% you will. She, um, she's very warm. She's, she's funny. She's very down to earth. She doesn't like change, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and I don't, I hate change. Dear. Paul's exactly the, the same, same. yeah. He's a, he's a Taurus he as well, is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah Taurians. I have a lot of friends who are Taurians, and my mum mm-hmm. is a Taurian. Um, and they don't like change. No. They don't. They do not like change. They like. They like kind of things that are, they know where they're planned, going and they're like, planned. Yeah. Like, I, like I couldn't say to my mother, oh, well, we're going to Paris tomorrow. I'm not spontaneous. Like, I like to know where, when, I like to plan yes. and, you know, yes. no, I'm not That's very Taurus. Yeah. So if I could think, I mean, I mean, the lovely people, Taurus, they're very down to where, they're very trust, full of trustworthy. They're not full of bull. Just, just ignore her, folks. <laughs> they're not full of bull. <laughs> <laughs> but if I could equate her with a character, I would think of, um, do you watch Sex in the City? 
I know the characters are. Do you know Miranda? The redhead. Short hair? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I would say, if anybody watches Sex and the City, that would be Miranda from Sex and the Sissy. City. She's, um, as I say, she's quite career oriented. She's, she's very loyal. She's very down to worth at Queen yeah. of Pentacles. She's not up in the air. You know, she's very down to worth. She's somebody who you can rely on. Um, lovely. So if this is you this week, if this is you, um, you're going to be very secure, which is funny because I'm, I'm yeah. talking about you today. So you're going to be very secure. My favourite subject. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be very secure if this is you. Or if it's another woman that's coming into your life, whether it's a man watching or a woman, that woman is a lovely person that's coming into your life. So there you go. Excellent. Right. Okay then, darling. Uh, would you like to ask me anything else before I start cracking jokes? Or start oh, bursting into the spot now. Do you know, I wouldn't care last night when I was laid away. <coughs> I was thinking of things I could ask. And then, you know... I've had my coffee this morning and just it's all went out my head. Oh, it doesn't matter. Is there anything else? Can you think of anything else? We should have rehearsed it. We should have rehearsed it, yeah. But the thing is, I never rehearse this. And I always say to anybody who comes on here, it is absolutely ad lib. Because if you rehearse it, mm. it looks rehearsed and I don't stop and start it. I just do it in the first take. Oh, I'll tell you what it. I did want to know. Go on. Um, I know I think you've touched on this briefly. Go but on. I get asked, you know, obviously the girls know that I come to my classes and things. Mm. And then people ask when I'm saying this has happened, that's happened. You've got to be there to believe it. But, you know, when I'm telling the story, I'm like, so what, what is Gina's actual sort of gift, if you want to call it? What is it that, I know you, <coughs> that you, obviously, I've had a reading of you a long time ago. You see, you've seen things and you, mm. you hear certain things, so you are like, would that be clear of point? Right, okay, so the difference, right. Yeah. So people, it's funny, I was chatting with my friend Mark last night about this, and he was, he was saying that he's starting to hear things, right? Yeah. When people get on the ladder with this, mm -hmm. right, so with any kind of spirituality or tarot cards or they just take an interest in this, they will start receiving some kind of, 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 of clairvoyancy, mm -hmm. whether it be clairaudience. Now, clairaudience is where you hear. I don't really hear things right. Yeah. If I do hear anything, it's in my own voice. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, it's, it's like a thought being pushed into your head. And for instance, right, I'll give you an example, right? I see things, and I don't see things with, the, with my eyes. I see things with what I call my third eye. So if I'm doing a reading for somebody, all of a sudden, I'll just see something behind her, but it won't obviously be real, mm -hmm. it'll be in here. Yeah. It's kind of the imagination, but it's, it's true. Yeah. So for instance, if I said to you now, can you imagine um, a big bear, a big brown bear, Right? Mm -hmm. With a Mexican hat on. Definitely. Could you imagine that in your head? Yes. Because a lot of people can't. A lot no. of people haven't got their imagination. You know me, you know my imagination is very hyperactive. Very like vivid. Me. Yeah, very Absolutely. vivid. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can imagine you that. You want to know what goes on in my head. Bears with Mexican hats on are the least of me worries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so imagine if I hadn't said that to you. Right. And this bear with this Mexican head just appeared in your, in your imagination. You'd think, where's that coming? from yeah now so when you're doing cards with people if you're going to start doing this for a living or you're going to start doing it for friends if you get something say it even if it if even if it feels ridiculous yeah. for you to say it, you know what i mean I have to start that. Yeah, yeah say it because wherever you're getting is you know now i, I say things some people hear things some people feel things some people use psychometry where they would um, hold a ring or something or a piece of jewelry and get feelings yeah. from that everybody works differently but with me it's mainly clairvoyancy so i see things you know little pictures like a and things object of someone. Yes, yeah, somebody can maybe hold a ring or something and, and, and get a feeling. So if I took um, off me knickers and give them to you. No jokes. But in fact, I've got a joke about that. Have you? I've got really? A... <laughs> this sounds like we have rehearsed it, doesn't it? We haven't at all. No, we haven't. We haven't. Not. 100% have to be hard. This is, I've got a joke. I was going to tell another joke, but I'm going to tell that one right. now. <laughs> right. Ethel and Maud. Beat the bingo, right, they beat the bingo. Um, they're a bit drunk, they've had a few too many sherries, and they're walking back home. And Ethel says to Maud, eh, hey, Maud, I really fancy a wee. I, I'm dying for a wee. I don't think I can wait like her home, right? And her maid says, well, you can go in the middle of the street. And she says, well, look, there's a graveyard over there. Over there. Can we just go in the graveyard? So she says, all right, then. So anyway... So Ethel says, well, there's no toilet paper anywhere, so I'll tell you what, we'll just take our underwear off and use that as toilet roll, you see, so... anyway, that uh, Well, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's another story. So anyway, she takes her uh, underwear off and, and, and um, her mate says, well, I haven't got any pants on. And she says, 
Oh, she said, just use that wreath there. She said, but make sure you use the leaves and not the, not the thorns, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just use the leaves on that wreath. So she gets the wreath and they, anyway, they have the weeds and they go home. So anyway, the next night, Ethel's husband and Maud's husband are in the pub, Terry and Harry. So they're chatting away and Harry says, Eee, Terry. He said, our last came home last night. She had no knickers on. And his mate says, well, he said, that's nothing. He said, she got into bed, our lass. He said, and between the cheeks of her bum was a card, and it says, we will never forget you from all the boys from the fire station. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was going to tell another one, but when you said the knickers, that just... Um, I just thought that's like a personal thing, yes, isn't it? Yes, well, that's another show. And shirt. I can't have your rings off, the and, and I think... Um, sorry, sir. I <laughs> think... Um, <laughs> I think we'll do another show. I think we'll do another show on sex and tarot. Do you think? Excellent you think, idea. I think that would get a few views. Maybe, you. maybe like X-rated. X, X-rated. Late maybe like an eight night. Late night yeah. One. Maybe I should put a little bit. Yeah. So I'll have e, you one. Me and GP. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have, next, <laughs> we'll have an X. We'll have an X-rated. Sorry. <laughs> no Moira. No Betty. No Moira. <laughs> no Paul. Definitely no Paul. <laughs> Just in case we need to mention him. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure, Thank darling. You. Thank oh, you. it's a pleasure, darling. You've I'll made be back, my day. Everyone. She'll be back. I'll She'll be, be back. back. Right. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> so, when somebody needs you, it's no good unless they feed you. Every day, through the good and lean years, chomping only on cheap Chinese, take away. Who knows where the road will lead us as the Tesco Safeway? So if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm gonna love you all the way. All